Howdy, Andrew here. Today, I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of potassium hydrogen phosphate. Simple process, I created a nice little table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing we're gonna do is write the elements we see. So we got potassium, we got hydrogen, we got phosphorus, and we got oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of potassium, there's a two. At the bottom of hydrogen, there's an assumed one. Phosphorus, same thing, there's a one. And then oxygen, there's going to be four. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and then we're going to multiply them by the mass of each particular element there. And that's where we got to go to the periodic table. Potassium is 39.10, hydrogen is 1.01, phosphorus is 39, oh, excuse me, 30.97, and oxygen is 16. So we're going to write those on in. So potassium here was, as it said, 39.10, hydrogen is going to be 1.01, phosphorus is 30.97, and then oxygen is 16. So then we're going to find the total mass of each element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So the total mass of potassium here is going to be 78.20. Total mass of hydrogen is simply 1.01. Phosphorus is simply going to be 30.97. And then oxygen, you're going to take 4 and multiply it by the 16, so that works out to be 64. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, all you got to simply do is add up all the total mass of each individual element. All right? hopefully that makes sense. So this is 174.17. And the units here are going to be in terms of AMU, atomic mass units, that is, because we're finding molecular mass. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molecular mass of potassium hydrogen phosphate. Check out our channel. We've got thousands of other videos out there for you to practice and check your answers on. We'd love to help you out with more stuff. All right? Take care.